Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. People who've lost a lot of weight, how did you do it? Ate less, ate healthier, and exercised. I didn't make a lot of big changes at once either. First thing I did was cut sodas out of my diet. Then a couple of weeks later, I started leaving cheese off my burgers and hot dogs. Couple of weeks after that started ordering small meals at fast food places instead of large ones. Then I started eating cucumber slices instead of chips, fries. Then instead of eating shit like candy bars, I switched to chocolate-covered fruit. And eventually to just regular fruit. Stuff like that. As for exercise, again, nothing major. First change was walking once around the block I lived on. For weeks that was it. Then I started adding in bicep curls. Then sit-ups. Then push-ups. Then light stretches. Over a six-month period I went from 345 and walking a half mile leaving me breathless and with chest. Pains to 267 and walking several miles at a time. That's the key part, is making small changes that will last a lifetime. Too many people will go on a diet. Lose weight then go back to what they were doing and bam. Gain weight again. Losing weight, eating healthy etc. Is a lifelong change. Not just for a few months. One of the best ways I've heard this described was from a former special operations sniper that was. Teaching a course. He said something along the lines of. Remember to take your time and monitor your breathing. Your heartbeat will move the muzzle. A millimeter at the end of the barrel is feet. Sometimes meters. By the time the bullet reaches the target. Like in life. Minor adjustments at the start. Sustained over great distances. Will have a massive impact on the. Outcome. Quote. Stopped drinking and started exercising daily. People don't realize how many additional calories they're often consuming when they drink beyond. The alcohol itself. Pre-gaming for the party tonight. Better eat a heavy, carb-rich dinner. Now I'm hammered and donuts sound really good. Now it's the next day and I'm hungover so I'm going to eat a greasy breakfast. You stop drinking, a lot of those bad eating habits disappear too. My doctor had me write down everything I was eating for a month and use a basic calorie calculator. To add it all up, I was consuming an extra day's worth of food, calorie-wise, from having a couple glasses of wine multiple days a week. And you're right, getting a breakfast sandwich, door dashed, the next morning didn't help. Cutting out that for a couple of months helped me drop two belt notches. Without changing much else. Honestly, a combination of being poor and having depression. My friend would joke how it's a good thing I got the, I don't want to eat anything, depression and not the, I'm gonna eat a whole tub of ice cream in one sitting, depression. Edit. Wasn't expecting so many people to share their experiences. You're all brave and making good progress, keep it up. And don't be ashamed to ask for help. I thought I had to power through my situation alone but accepting that I was at my limits and moving back in with my parents for a bit definitely helped more than I initially thought it would. I get not everyone has that luxury but reaching out to anyone is a big step one. And to those who have learned to laugh and joke about your situation. I'm totally in the same boat as you. You're my kind of people thumbs up. Well shit. I just polished off a pint watching Netflix. Wanna trade depressive episodes. Depressed and poor. I was skinny AF when I had to choose between sleeping or eating during the one to two hours between shifts. I worked two high intensity jobs. Fast food and retail total of about 14 hours six days a week and walked about five miles total commute for said jobs. Another hour and a half on my feet. I was also still not making enough money to eat well. So, my whole body ached, and I was malnourished. But I managed to drop from 235 to 160 in just a few months man shrugging light skin tone. Body by poverty. Body by poverty that's pretty much it. The first time I lost a bunch of weight was immediately postpartum. My, late, husband was furious that I hadn't gone back to work at six weeks. But I could not for a variety of reasons chief among which was our baby's complete refusal to eat from any bottle. This led to financial abuse wherein he refused to give me any money for groceries while he ate out. Three meals a day. Once my personal savings were depleted. Which happened pretty quickly due to $17,000 of medical bills from the birth which he refused to pay even a dollar of. I had no money to buy groceries. I was living on about a cup of basmati rice a day. I lost the baby weight and then an extra 20 pounds by the time she was three months old. I can't help but notice that you wrote husband and not ex-husband. Was that a typo? Please tell me he's paying you a boatload in child support now. Boo. Finally something I can help with around here. Got diagnosed with NAFLD. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Scared the shit out of me. Smartwatch with fitness tracking. At least 15,000 steps a day. I go for what I jokingly call a wog. Walk most of the way. Jog on the way back. Started over 300 pounds. Down to 270 now. It's hard to jog when you're that heavy, but I'm trying. Mediterranean diet. Scary at first, awesome now that I've learned about it. Chickpea pasta, red bean pasta, all instead of wheat. Breads and sugar are out the window. 
fresh salads, salmon, and best news for me is I can still use my smoker and eat plenty of meats. Food journal that I can track steps, weight, sleep, mood, fruit, veggies, and calories in. The one I bought is by a company called Clever Fox, bought it on Amazon. I fill it out every day and look forward to doing so. Smart scale. I weigh myself once a week, not every day. Every day can be depressing because your weight goes up and down several times a week depending on when you weigh, what you eat etc. Water. Bought a Yeti water bottle that holds 26 fluid ounces I believe. I fill it twice a day, 52 ounces. Then I get the rest of my water from coffee, sparkling water, etc. 64 ounces of water a day. 16 hours fasting schedule. I only eat after 12 p.m. and before 8 p.m. Never before, never after. No drinking. Easy for me but I was never into it. It's just bad for you. It's been working great for me and I'm not going to stop until I'm 210 pounds or under. Good luck. Less than three. Just to add on to the weighing yourself. It's very important to always do it at the same time of day. Weighing yourself before bed will be different than early morning after emptying your bladder. Great work. Agreed. I wake up, pee, and then step on the scale. Every morning. Now that I'm older I always got a pee first thing in in the morning. If you're ever in the UK don't call it a wog, it has its own meaning here. Fucking cracked up when I saw wog, and that Mediterranean diet is, scary.